guys, me Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a beautiful start to your day and an amazing start to your holidays. I'm here today to do another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Doki Doki Box by Japan Crate. For those of you unfamiliar with Japan Crate, I will link all their information in the description below. Basically, Japan Crate is a subscription service that sends you delicious Japanese treats each and every month for you to taste test. Well, recently they decided to launch a brand new box, a kawaii box. Kawaii means cute in Japanese, and they are calling it the Doki Doki Box. I believe Doki Doki is the sound that your heart makes when you have like butterflies in your stomach or when you're really happy. So that is the meaning behind their name. And it's not just food, it's going to be all different items that they curated that have to do with the kawaii theme. So if you have any other questions or concerns about this box, just ask them in the comments below. And without further ado, we're going to move right into this unboxing. This is just a little sneak peek of what the box looks like when you open it up. It is seriously so stinking cute. If you follow any of the kawaii trends, you notice that pink is the color that they use the most, and that is definitely the color I'm seeing the most when I'm opening up this box. It's very girly, it's very bright, and it just, I don't know, kind of stands for happiness in my personal opinion. So along with all the items that you're going to get in the box each month, you're also going to get your little pamphlet, which I mentioned this in my previous Japan Crate unboxing. They have the best pamphlets that I've ever seen in any sub box. They are so bright, they are so colorful, they are so much fun, and they basically give you a description of everything you're going to get in the box. They also give you some games, they give you comics, and then they tell you a little bit about their subscription service. So this is always really fun to look at each and every month. The very first thing that I'm pulling out of the box for this month is this super adorable coin purse. This is the Alpacaso coin purse. In Japan, coins are used for most transactions, $5 or less, so coin purses are very common. Keep your coins safe in this adorable Alpacaso coin purse. She's so cute. I love it. And I actually don't have a coin purse in my pocketbook right now. Right now I have a little wallet that I got in my Pop Sugar box and it's just one of those really skinny wallets. I don't have any room for my coins so usually I just take all my coins and throw them at the bottom of my purse which is terrible. So I'm really excited to now have a brand new coin purse. And she's so cute! The next thing that I'm pulling out of the box is this little guy. This is Chibi Totoro, a tiny Totoro friend to carry with you. In the movie, he can disappear and reappear anytime. Make him appear whenever you need a friend. This guy's really cute. He just has two eyes. I've never watched the movie, so I'm not quite sure the character that they're referring to, but I'm sure people who have watched the movie would really like this. He's just a cute little bean bag. He has like little beans inside of him, and he's very, very soft and super adorable again. And to go along with that Totoro theme, the next thing that I'm pulling out of the box is this Totoro pouch. This is the Totoro zipper pouch. Protect your favorite items with this Totoro zipper pouch. What will you store in yours? Now, like I just mentioned, I never watched this movie before, but I can truly, truly appreciate this item. As most of you know, I am a teacher, and I would say one of the biggest issues in my classroom is that writing utensils go missing. It does not matter if it's a pencil, a pen, a crayon, a highlighter, any writing utensil, I swear, they just evaporate into thin air. We will give students pencils in the morning, and then by mid-afternoon, they are gone. I have no idea where they're going. And when they lose their pencils or their pens, they come over to my desk and take my pencil into my pens. So this is really fun. I feel like the students will get a kick out of this fun design, but this will be my special little pouch that students are not allowed to touch. And I'll just fill this up with pencils and pens and highlighters and crayons and markers, etc but they will know not to touch this, but they will get a kick out of the design. And the very final Totoro item that I'm getting in the box for this month is this Totoro desk calendar. A kawaii calendar to keep anywhere so you'll smile whenever you check what day it is. I love that and I now officially feel like I owe it to this box to watch this movie. All of the characters in this calendar are super, super cute and yeah, I just feel like I owe it to watch this movie. I have so many calendars at my house right now but I don't have any calendars in my classroom so this will be just another item that I'm going to bring into my classroom and again, I feel like my students will have so much fun looking through all these really fun characters. Moving 
moving right along, the next thing I'm pulling out of the box is this Hello Kitty box. And this is the Hello Kitty blind box. Hello Kitty is dressed as one of five characters to celebrate her 40th anniversary. I cannot believe she's been around for 40 years. Which one will you get in your mystery box? Let's find out together. My friend Steph would love this. She is obsessed with Hello Kitty. And I received the Hello Kitty that looks like she has headphones on. I have to open this up. Let's check it out. It's cute. They give you a little stand that says Hello Kitty and then it says 40th on it. And my Hello Kitty, let's get her out. She kind of looks like a disco Hello Kitty. So yeah, she just has a little tutu on and again, she has, that's either a headband or some headphones. I really like this box a lot. Everything is so cute. I know I keep saying cute so many times, but that's what Kawhi stands for, so I feel like they are just nailing it right now. There are four things left in the box, and I am definitely saving the best for last. The next thing that I'm pulling out, though, is this Pikachu necklace. This is the Charizard Pikachu. Pikachu loves cosplay, and he looks amazing dressed up on this necklace. So this reminds me of childhood. I personally was never really into Pokemon, but my cousin was obsessed with Pokemon, and I used to babysit him all the time when he was a child. And all we used to do was use Pikachu cards, Pikachu cards, Pokemon cards. We used to draw all the characters. There was a point where I could name probably three fourths of all the Pokemon characters, and I was never even a huge fan. So this just I don't know. It reminds me of my childhood, and I think it's really really fun. Next up is the food item of the month, and this is the Henshin Awa Jelly DIY Kit. Henshin means to transform in Japanese. Transform powder into a delicious jello dessert with this fun kit. See page 6 for instructions. I'm really glad that they're giving this the instructions in English because this is completely in Japanese, obviously, and I can't understand any of it. They do give you some picture instructions that I'm sure I could follow, but I'm probably better off just looking at the instructions on page 6. This looks like a lot of fun, and I have to say, Japan has such fun food DIY kits. I'm really looking forward to making this. The second to last thing in the box is this eye mask. This is the Panda Sleep Mask. Pandas spend most of their days eating and the rest of their days sleeping. They have the right idea. Now you can too snooze like a panda. I love this. Let's check it out. By the way, this is definitely, hands down, the softest sleep mask I have ever received in my entire life. It is so fluffy and it's so soft. And again, save the best for last, the very final item in the box for this month is this little stuffed animal. This is the Nia Kuma, your silly cat pajama wearing beer friend. This plushy pal is ready to go on all of your crazy adventures. How cute is he? I love it. It's supposed to be a little bear and he's wearing pajamas and he's so adorable. I feel like I've said that a billion times in this video and I apologize, but look at the cuteness. I can't even stand it. I am obsessed. And that's it. That's everything I received in my very first Doki Doki box. And I have to say, this was seriously so much fun. I always have such a blast doing any Japan Crate unboxings. I feel like they do a great job curating their boxes, and they always try to make it so fun and engaging and exciting for the customers. But that's what I think. I would love to know what you guys think below. Did you like this box? Did you not like this box? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly appreciate it. And as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your support on my channel. Thank you for bringing me to over 17,000 subscribers. There are no words. I'm just so appreciative for each and every one of you, and I hope that you know that. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.